Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. We recently had the opportunity to interview Professor Anna Maria Cuervo, co-director of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine and one of the leading experts on autophagy. In the interview, we talked about chaperone-mediated autophagy, an area in which she has focused for many years. As a background, we wanted to go through one of her papers where she introduces this process. Here is the paper, The Role of Chaperone-Mediated Autophagy in Metabolism. Cells recycle their components through a process known as autophagy. There is more than one form of autophagy, but the two final stages, breakdown and recycling, occur in the same place, which is inside a compartment in the cell called a lysosome. However, the mechanism that delivers the components to be degraded differs in the three main types of autophagy. Let's have a look at what they are. Here we have the three main types of autophagy macro, micro and chaperone mediated. In macro autophagy, which is commonly just called autophagy, a membrane surrounds the components to be degraded and carries them to the lysosome. Here it fuses with the lysosome and delivers the contents which are then degraded. In micro autophagy, proteins are absorbed directly by the lysosome, where a vesicle is formed on the surface and the protein is ingested and degraded. And the third form is chaperone-mediated autophagy. CMA targets individual proteins in the cell interior where the chaperone attaches to them and brings them to the lysosome where they can then be ingested. Let's look at the process in more detail. A special protein called HSC70 finds proteins which have a specific sequence of amino acids on them. The chaperone protein then takes the target protein to the surface of the lysosome and binds to a membrane protein called LAMP2A, shown here in blue. This causes the target protein to unfold. Further copies of LAMP2A gather at the site and ingest the target protein, which is then degraded in a similar fashion to other forms of autophagy. The LAMP2A complex breaks up, ready to accept the next incoming protein. Because of the way that it acts, CMA can only target proteins, while other forms of autophagy can target any kind of macromolecule, proteins, lipids and glycogen, as well as organelles and pathogens. However, recent studies show that CMA has a wider effect on intracellular functions. Its primary role is protein quality control, identifying and removing damaged proteins. But it has also been linked to regulation of transcriptional programs in which proteins which are part of processes which need to be downregulated are removed from the cell even though they are not damaged. Also cell death and survival, DNA repair and whether a cell will divide, and cellular metabolism of energy. CMA is active in most cells at all times, but in a similar way to other autophagy, is maximally activated in response to stressors such as oxidative stress, hypoxia, DNA damage and prolonged starvation. CMA activity is coordinated with the activity of the other autophagic pathways, so in vitro and in vivo, if CMA is blocked, macroautophagy is upregulated, and alternatively, inhibition of macroautophagy increases CMA activity. The compensation helps maintain protein homeostasis but breaks down when the cells are exposed to stress. The pathways compensate for each other but are not redundant. One of the common ways of activating macroautophagy is by fasting. This also works for CMA but the dynamics are different. Studies show that autophagy starts after 30 minutes and max protein breakdown is reached by 4-6 to six hours. Later studies have shown that after this autophagy switches to degrading fats. However, autophagy also continues with CMA, with an exponential increase at 8 to 10 hours of fasting. It peaks at 16 to 18 hours and remains elevated for days. CMA declines with age. And from this recent news release about Professor Cuervo's latest paper, we can see that the decline in CMA allows a build-up of waste in cells, which in particular contributes to Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, as well as aging in general. Promoting CMA helps to prevent this process. I hope that you found the video informative. We go into more detail on the various forms of autophagy in the interview. Please do stay tuned. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.